Hey guys, how's it going? Cez back again and welcome back to FIFA 15 Demoing. Today we'll be having a look at Chelsea here on the FIFA 15 Demo. As you can see, randomly selected Boca Juniors as the uh, as the uh, opponent. As you can see as well, I'll also be starting with this lineup. This is probably going to be the lineup I'll start with on the FIFA 15 career mode once the full release comes out as well. And we'll be starting on uh, on the full game with the Chelsea career mode. Courtois, I've got Dave at right back, Cahill, Terry and Felipe Luis at left back, Matic and Fabregas holding with Willian wide right, Oscar in the middle, Hazard wide left as you may expect and Diego Costa up top. The only things that I may change are perhaps putting Ramirez in for Matic just for that extra little bit of pace, perhaps it's one option or Sherlock for Willian is the other option. The rest is pretty much straightforward as far as I'm concerned but we'll jump in. Hopefully you guys will enjoy having a quick look at Chelsea. Of course there will have been another episode of the um, FIFA 15 potential stars on career mode uh, series uploaded earlier on this afternoon so if you missed that check the channel page for it so you can have a quick look at uh, that series not too sure who you'll be looking at today because I haven't as of yet recorded it because I'm waiting for some suggestions for uh, for that series from the second episode which has gone up today as I record this Friday so <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens there but hopefully you guys enjoy seeing us play with Chelsea today as always we'll try and create as many chances as possible Harald Fimmler is going to be the referee from Germany playing on professional as always on the demo we will of course step it up to at least world class for the full release but for the sake of entertainment purposes and the fact that it's only the demo and not the full build I don't think difficulty is really that much of an issue so we'll be playing on professional hoping to create as many opportunities as possible have a look at some of the new animations and new graphical features in FIFA 15 as you can see uh, of course, as always with the demo, we're playing at Anfield, unfortunately. So uh, no look as of yet at Stamford Bridge or any of the other Premier League grounds. Of course, full Barclays Premier League licensing this year, including referees as well. So there will be referees that you recognise from, uh, you know, Super Saturday or no Super Sunday and Saturday night and Monday night football, etc. from Sky Sports. And uh, the Barclays Premier League licensing, the official licensing, will be used on all of the Barclays Premier League games and all 20 grounds are in there as well, plus over 200 new uh, player faces, which is absolutely fantastic for uh, someone like myself that plays on career mode, especially in the BPL. I'm really hoping that it's going to be a phenomenal experience, and I can't wait to share that with you on the full release as we get going in just over a week's time. But as you can see, Boca Juniors actually having a lot of the ball here. I'm still finding it more difficult to defend on this game, as you perhaps can see there. Good tackle from Gary Cahill. Finding it more difficult to defend on the demo than I was on the beta, which is probably just because of the uh, the fact that the build is older than the beta, this demo. So, uh, you know, it's less representative of the full game than uh, other builds that have been available to play at certain opportunities which is good because I much preferred the way the beta played to be, to be completely honest but I can't really talk too much about that without the risk of my channel getting banned so we'll ignore it but Diego Costa played in over the top we'll have the quick shot headed towards the bottom corner but Grania the goalkeeper gets a good save down low 20 minutes in still nil nil not sure how far into the video we are right now it was a good shot from Costa good accuracy towards that far left hand side Good save by the goalkeeper though. We'll whip the corner in from Willian. Are we going to get a man underneath it? No, it gets headed away. And actually, Gigliotti, Gigliotti, Gigliotti. I've no idea how to pronounce that. It's probably Argentinian. Dave puts in a good tackle though. Fabregas up to Willian. I see the run of Oscar. If he can keep that going, which he unfortunately hasn't. Oh, nearly able to nip in there to get that away though. I'm not too sure how overpowered or underpowered what average lob through balls are going to be this year. Of course, they have tried to uh, to dumb them down a little bit. They've made a conscious effort to make lob through balls and uh, crosses and headers a little bit less of uh, an issue this year when it comes to the overpowered side of things. But uh, we'll have to wait and see in the full release whether it does become somewhat of an issue. Playing the demo so far, I haven't noticed too much of an issue with lob through balls, although to be fair, the, uh, the CPU hasn't played that many of them. Diego Costa's got a lot of space to run into here. We should be able to utilise his pace. We've got a player inside of me, so we'll try and break round him there. Diego Costa for the goal. No, a good save, and he's taken all the power off it there. Really good save from the goalkeeper. Keeps Diego Costa out for a second time. Diego creating chances, though, which is nice to see. Of course, he will be the main striker for us 
in the Chelsea career mode when we get going on FIFA 15. Although Didier Drogba and, of course, Loic Remy, who has now moved to the club in real life, will be getting some first-team football as well. We'll look for Costa, not Costa, Diego, not Diego, Oscar. Oscar round the corner from the ball with Diego Costa. Jeeps will get there eventually. They hoof the ball clear. Oscar's going to run over to take it. We'll throw it to, uh, to Hazard, who's waiting, and then we'll try and do the man with a bit of nice footwork. Play Oscar, who's got another man inside room there. Sesk will try a fake shot to get inside that man and drill it towards the bottom corner. Oh, what a finish. Cesc Fabregas made absolute sure that that flew into the top corner. That was a really impressive strike. He hit it so hard, I thought it had gone over initially, then saw the, the back of the net fly up. Great fake shot there, and so much power in the shot. The goalkeeper stood absolutely no chance. Sesk makes the breakthrough here. Chelsea won at Boca Juniors nil. That was a beautiful strike. Hopefully he can do that for us in the full game as well. We're 1-0 up just before half-time. Fire this into Costa. Hopefully Hazard will make a run. He has started to, but hasn't continued it. Willian's making a good run there. Perhaps could have played him, but we'll use Aspi on the overlap. Going to drive here. Oh. Then eventually try and get a cross in. The cross has come in. Diego Costa with the header. Oh, goalkeeper has to make a double save. Got a good initial block on it, but then fantastic reactions. Perhaps that's part of the new goalkeeper AI with them able to make multiple decisions at the same time. Previously, he would have saved that and then just left it. He made the save there and then went back and uh, saved it again, considering he didn't take all of the power out of it. That was really good. Fantastic animations. I may even see if we can get an action replay of that, if I can actually skip this. Can we have a quick look at instant replay? Are we going to be able to go back far enough to have a look at that? We should be able to here. Yes, let's change the angle, shall we? We'll have a look at that in slow motion. Great header from Diego Costa, headed towards that far bottom corner. Gets the good first save, not enough on it. Then reacts again to jump up and palm it away from goal. That was really good. I enjoyed that. Well, we'll make the changes at half-time that I said were potentials for the actual career mode. So I'll bring Scherler on for Willian and we'll put Ramirez on for Matic. Although I can't decide whether I want to sell Ramirez for the uh, actual career mode. I haven't decided yet. Um, he's one of the players that potentially might be on his way out, actually. But we'll come to that when we get there. We'll make those two changes, see if they can make a positive impact on the side. Andres Scherler for Willian and Ramirez for Nemanja Matic. Of course, in real life, Nemanja Matic is absolutely fantastic in that holding role for Chelsea, especially alongside the more creative Cesc Fabregas. Cesc has already got, as I record this, pre uh, Swansea game, he's got, we'll try a long shot here with Costa, straight at the goalkeeper. Uh, Fabregas already has four assists so far this season. It's been a wonderful acquisition. Everything you hoped he would be and more since coming in from Barcelona. And obviously Diego Costa, as I record this, like I say, pre uh, the Swansea game, is an injury concern. I came back injured from the Spanish national duty. I've just run around him there with Scheller. That wasn't particularly good, was it? Nice physical presence, though, from the man to get him off the ball, but He's still got it. Dave should have that under control, and he's kept that in. Is he? Has he? No, it's gone out for a throw-in. They're making a change as well. But yeah, as I record this, Diego Costa is a doubt for the Swansea game tomorrow. That's a terrible challenge from Ramirez, and that's gone wide. I thought that had gone in for a minute, so I saw it, saw it go behind the goal. Courtois picks it up. We'll have a goal kick. Ten minutes into the second half. That's the only real action so far. I'll try and create something and get a second goal before the end of the game for you, if I possibly can. Throwing down this left-hand side then. We'll use Ramirez initially. And I'll actually ping this out to Dave over there. And cut inside to give it to Diego Costa. And maybe we'll try a shot. No, skips around one man. Physical presence from the defender is enough to put him off though. He can't quite get to the ball. And I've missed that tackle. And he's showed good strength there to hold off Sesk. Eventually does get the ball away. Good physical battles going on all over the field here I can't seem to get the ball back off this is where I struggle you know on the demo at least is getting the ball back off the opposition I can get up to the man but whenever I try and play or make the tackle I either mistime it or just miss it completely we'll try and build something here if we can Hazard will look for Ramirez turn inside there's the ball to Oscar Diego Costa might make a run in behind this man if he possibly can no nope. here's Sherlock we have to show good strength here to hold off that man into Oscar. Ronaldo chop inside. No, we're going to get the free kick. No, the advantage is gone. OK, Ramirez is going to show great strength to get back here, though. Good pace as well and determination, but I've given the ball straight back to Acosta. Now, which way is he going to go? I keep sprinting and... Oh, we've done well there. I keep sprinting and then not being able to stop quick enough for, uh, for the following challenge. Jeeves, he's rapid, that Acosta guy, keeping up with Ramirez. 
Can I win the ball back here? Yes, good tackle there from Sesk. I think that was, or was it? Yeah, no, it's Oscar. We will find Sesk now. Hold the little man off. That Acosta man, it really is a thorn in my side right now. Here's Dave, We're whipping across, looking for Ramirez. In it comes. Can you win the header? No, goalkeeper's come to, uh, to punch it clear. Oh, mix up with the two defenders there. Not really too sure which one of them was trying to get it away. Up to Hazard. Costa, can you make me run through that channel? He has. Now I'm going to try and cut inside the man. That didn't work at all. They've hooked it clear, but only as far as Hazard. Burst of acceleration, perhaps, to get past the man. No. They've hooked it clear again. Ten minutes left to go. They're making another change. We'll take this through quickly if we can. I see Scherler at the back post. Always oh, come from nowhere, that midfielder, to make that tackle. We'll get it into Sesk. And Sesk will have another shot. Good save by the goalkeeper. Straight down his throat. Couldn't keep it under control. Just battered it away. It was a good shot from Sesk, although I was actually aiming for the corner rather than uh, down the middle of the goal. But Ramirez, actually, he's playing better than the Manumatics did in that holding mid role. If things stay like that in the full release, I perhaps won't be getting rid of Ramirez and Diego Costa's offside there, unfortunately. One thing with the offsides now, you don't get the lines come up. You know, before, when it froze with the replay and you get the lines to show he's offside. doesn't show you that here now. It's more of a, uh, you know overall TV feel where you don't actually get the lines put on in the initial replay you just see that he's off although in real life now they have started to add in some of those uh, those lines that you previously see uh, in the older FIFAs but it does give it more of a natural feel without those uh, those computer generated lines on for the offside decision so I do like that change Courtois will come out and get this we're into stoppage time now of course it's only four minute halves on the demo jeeps that is a big throw so there's not too much time to build too many chances, but we'll perhaps get another one before we finish. We'll look for Hazard through the middle here, and he can't get there, and they've headed it straight to their forward man. Where are you going? Good tackle by JT. Uh, I don't want to play it to Hazard there, because I think he's offside. Oh, there goes the final whistle. I was just about to slot through Oscar. There goes the final whistle then. That's a quick look at Chelsea for the FIFA 15 demo. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then smash that like button and leave me some suggestions down below in the comments with one of the other sides from the demo you'd like to have a look at for either tomorrow's episode or Monday's because I may record... Um, I may record Sundays with suggestions from Friday night's video. So, uh, of course, though, feel free to leave me some suggestions because there's still five teams we have to look at and five teams are left to play with. We created enough chances in there. But again, I'm struggling to keep hold of possession. You will have noticed that throughout all of the uh, the demo gameplay that you've seen me put up so far. So uh, hopefully I can address that by the time the full release comes out. But that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Check the channel page for a My Play episode if you missed it earlier on this afternoon. And also check the channel page for anything else you may have missed over the past few days, whether it's this uh, little FIFA 15 demoing series or the FIFA 15 career mode potential stars series, which has been going down very well indeed as well. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.